Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra, exclusively on SNY.TV. Wednesday night, the Cubs made it two straight one-run victories over the Mets at Wrigley Field. 5-4 the final Chicago. Mets had an early 3-0 lead, but little went right after that. You know, we, we got off to a good start. We just haven't been able to add on. We've had opportunities to, you know, put games away. We've had bases loaded several times, and we're getting guys on, so it's not like we're not getting on base. We're just not hitting with guys on base, which has uh, been the tune thus far, uh, the way we've gone, the way we started the season. But, you know, they haven't let down. But I just think, you know, sometimes you go through playing all those innings and all those days, and uh, the way we did, there's, you know, we got to got to find some energy somewhere. Whether you're aggressive or you're patient, uh, you still got to get balls you can hit and put together some good at bats, and we've been able to do that. Um, whether it be with no outs, you know, early in the inning or with two outs, you know, we've been able to do a good job of just continuing to fight and taking advantage of all three outs that we have to, to get some guys on. Then it's just a matter of getting them come across the, uh, the plate, which is another th- part of the equation when you're trying to go ahead and score runs and get Ws. A game with 15 walks total, uh, not a well-pitched ball game. The bullpen that has been pretty solid for the Mets today got, kind of gave it up a little bit in that third inning. Uh, Dice K did not have it today in his second start. He was uh, he walked four guys in four innings, gave up four runs. That's not the Dice K we've been seeing. You know, he's the base on balls. You know, and falling behind the count is stuff. You, you know, it's, that, it's, that he has not been doing, and uh, you know, it cost him tonight. It cost him. He put his, put himself in some tough situations. He hasn't started consistently, so uh, you know, maybe maybe tonight will get him. You know. He, Go work on something on the side because I know last year when Dan sped his tempo up, he pitched better. So we'll, we'll certainly that'll be discussed. Uh, not a pretty game. Not a pretty game for the Mets. Tejada, the bright spot, hit his second home run when the wind was blowing in hard. But you know, tough loss for the Mets here, coming off the four to five in Philly to drop the first two here against the worst team in the National League. Dana Evelyn and Jay Reese Familia, the guys who gave it up in the fifth inning. Familia's wild pitch brought in the go-ahead run. And then the Cubs bullpen went to work. They've been spectacular. Well, this is the, probably the the only strong point in this ball club right here. That nothing's gone right for the Cubs except for the bullpen. And Hector Rondon came in again and uh, got his seventh save. One, two, three through the teeth of the Mets order. Struck out Daniel Murphy. Struck out David Wright. Gave up a base hit to Granderson. And then got a Abreu to ground out the first. Starlin Castro had three RBIs for the Cubs. We'll go for the sweep of the series on Thursday night. Mets will have Jacob DeGrom on the mound, and he will be opposed by Travis Wood. The coverage begins at uh, 6 o'clock on Thursday night on SNY with Cadillac first pitch. That'll do it for WB Mason Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.